Hey everybody, it's September 18th, and you just saw who flew away right there. Here's another one. This is our Mexican sunflower, also known as torch. It's an annual, it's not a native. It's also not a problem, and it is by far our biggest monarch attractor besides the goldenrod. So I was just walking through here after watching monarchs on our goldenrods and just, you know, our regular everyday Canada goldenrod that so many people really despise because it spreads by root runners. But it's a native, it's a fantastic goldenrod and the monarchs use it. I mean, seriously, they use it. It's so cool. They just dangle off and you see these orange butterflies dangling off these golden flowers. It's spectacular. They're also using our asters a lot. We have New England aster in bloom right now, and bristly aster, and then this torch, or Mexican sunflower. There's some flying around here. I counted for a minute. There's at least eight monarchs right in this small zone. I'm gonna back up just so you can see. If there's eight right here, <laughs> I can just imagine. Right here between these two plants, eight. They're all fresh, they are brand new, they are ready for their journey to Mexico. We do not raise monarch cats here. Uh, we have in the past, but we have not this season, and we don't plan to in the future. And so these are all just wild monarchs from our property. They may be ones that have come down from the north that are migrating through for sure, but with how fresh they look, and how much milkweed we have here. I wouldn't be surprised if all of these guys just grew up on their own right here on this little patch of ground. Can you believe that little body flies to Mexico? Oh my gosh. They're looking good and healthy. Good luck, little friends. 